chain set up early and Vi can potentially find some ganks onto the Azir, uh, but both champions function the exact same outside of some minor difference like the outrange for Huey. Azir has a bunch of front-to-back damage. All right, so front to back and on the other side, I mean, for Giant X, I like the spanner thrown out because for the Anton here, but they're going to continue on because jungle camps are now spawn and Juhan is zoned out a little bit as SK. Might have to think about this a little bit more. Jackie's is coming in. There's a flash away from Luon. They're still thinking about it, even with Jackie's hovering, but the ignite as it goes down, Isma wow, tries to get his way. He doesn't. Well, that looks like a dead Zeri on my screen. Oh, it does indeed. Does it look like a dead Niski to you as well? Here he is, the Antonio making the game known. Oh, no. First blood going to be given over, and it's the Antonio who picks it up. Excuse me, second, of course. But a second kill over to Giant X. And it's just from Roy laning. Instead of contesting these grubs, trying to find some sort of dive with the Lucian down bot and giving up those six grubs, but Isma. He's going to turn this into engage, actually, as well. Embraces the chains as he goes golden, at least with the ultimate coming through. There's a return from Juhan. Isma dies. Niski doesn't have enough damage. It's an Azir in the early game with Mercs and a recurve bow. He gets charmed up, and Luan's ulti at max range won't hit Juhan anyway. Jackie's hit from range himself as Rahel. Now that's the damage that SK needed. He comes in, like picks next up. to the spot and just got Aqua Prison. I think he did. That wasn't the best flash. And Luan just gets a free Q. Yeah. And with that kill as well going on to Rahel, I mean, it's looking great. SK as well denying the six grubs. Three apiece now. I think you were saying this morning it's rare to see that as Giant X is going to teleport down bot. But this is for the Antonio to try and find something with a wave pushing in. Uh, this should be a dead irrelevant on my screen. He can get dove and redove and redove if he wants Lighting to. Lightning charge from Patrick at least helps out the all out there to buy space. But the Antonio flashes away before he takes an extra turret shot, picks up a second kill. Dive successful. Zinski now looks for the 1v1. Really could, but couldn't. I mean, I'm saying the Antonio because he's got an ult and he's level 11 here. Irrelevant as he walks up with his ulti in hand, won't have the same impact. And Smite secures the Herald as they look for the charge. A one man ulti gets knocked up. Juhan in return finds one, but a lot burned here from SK. Now to try and deny his Jackies. That was picked up by Jackies. We know he's going to sit in the sideline. Maybe he doesn't lead to first tower of blood. We thought it could. And really Nisky. nice. I mean, again, first tower of blood does go over to SK. So they catch up in gold a bit, but Jackies now trades in the side. Going to secure them prior into the river as well as a charge onto Oy. mid lane turret. That, that could convert into third dragon here. Oh, it converts into a fight instead. Oh, no. Ignar steps up. He's dead. What a bubble. The setup from Luan and the counterplay. Massive is flashing forward for Isma to get the flail out and Jackies to sorts, luckily. But Giant X have lost a member again and stepping forward. Juhan is caught out. He flashes but gets shuffled all the same. Niski is as smooth as you'd like and the Equalizer coming out later. It does great damage. Try and recover, but, but yeah, that's that's third dragon denied from the side of SK and they, you could see the item discrepancy, right? Two items. It's okay. Last time I was allowed the teleprompter, I drew a smiley face and ever since I have been distanced from it. About a thousand for now. The Antonio, mm. all timing is great. Niski gets flashed oh, on and solo kill. Okay. What are they going to do? But you can see Azir. I just don't think Niski can match side lane at the moment. Dragon up here on the bottom side of the map. And remember, it's just Baron sitting there. So SK on the right side for now. Culling going to come through. Juhan interrupts it though. Equalizer lay it down perfectly. Patrick ulties over the side. Luan zones him out though. And Irrelevant hasn't died yet as Patrick has to flash on out of there. No kill has been Stand strong. Giga Antonio isn't enough. They tried to layer the Rumble on top of the Vial and the Rakanol as well. They see him. TP, yeah, they do indeed. Niski spots him. The Antonio came in a bit early. He equalizes. Juhan trying to recover as well, but Rahel still isn't dead. They're using everything to kill him, and Jackie's finally completes the task. But SK are running forward with all their might, and Isma cannot be stopped, especially with a strange feathery man. Ignar chased to his death, and even though it's. that damage on top of the Vial. Regardless though, Dragon gonna be over to SK and another winning fight. Watching us for a while. No Dragon for a while means all attention turns up towards the north. Niski ulties up and it's Patrick caught out. Only the tip of the soldiers is all it takes. Yeah, the shot to yeah. at least get some gold back, but Baron and a pick on Patrick. His first death in the game. As much as possible. They could even drop Equalizer down on the wave to defend it as well. But you just give up. I thought he was the one TPing. It's absolutely wrong from me. Teleport burn in front of their face. Giant X are going to try and find a pick from it's this. Coming. They do have an Azir tower. This is not a good flank, I don't think. Unless oh, he's on they, a can... ward. they need the one shot. Juhan. But isn't he... the one face checking? This 
Porky Pig doesn't care. The knockup comes through, though, from Ignar. But going golden, they buy some time. It's onto Irrelevant, too. Happy to buy it out. The Eagle Eyes when the choke is still good. Niski's ulti is not an over the wall. Antonio is cooking him alive. Niski still burning for his death. It somehow works for Giant X, and Niski just has to get on out. Jackie's looking for the chases. Irrelevant now stuck in the middle. The all out over the wall to try and find Jackie's, and he does. Irrelevant. It's Gazante moment. Irrelevant out for the pieces. Now Antonio comes through, but he's not even needed. Juhan cleans that kill up, and Dragon now exposed. Giant X, the resilience is there. What a nice engage from Ignar. Now they're still looking at SK. It's not done, is it? It's really not done. Flashing Knight still up to try and steal a dragon. They won't succeed. Aqua Prison not long with those W interqs. And I guess if we're getting a lot of bursts, we need to watch about things like Ignar. The quickness gets uh, popped what? up again. The ulti comes through. It's onto Luon. They find the support. Now there's no Baron oh, Bitten. Are they thinking about starting the Baron? Giant X are throwing the spanner. I'm so surprised that SK didn't take <laughs> Jackie's does it. Luon's dead. Made me scream, wow. God, LeBlanc. What set up there? Numbers advantage now given out, and SK are walking in. Numbers advantage. They could find the engage. Ignar is on the flank. He's got flash as well. Aragon, he has flash, and Baron here might just be a bait of ruses. Are they going to 50-50? Isma throws out the oldy Juhan, runs on in. Antonio shuffled away, but he goes golden's quickness. Buys him a bit of time, but it's on to tanks. Antonio has to flash away, and this gives the damage dealer with Rahel. They're now playing in front to back. No, Giant X, you're giving it to them. SK have been set up to walk. How hard it is to kill certain members as they move to Soul Point as well. Jackie's once again trying to be a ninja over the wall. Oh my god! It's all gonna come down to execution. Yep. You could find the picks. It really depends on how well Niski and Rahel can play safe. Oh, execution Juhan. like this. Juhan walking in. Niski <sighs> finds him. Jungler down. I mean, is he going to? The tidal wave follows oh, no. through. They need the damage eventually. They're fine. The quickness there as well. The equalizer makes the play turn around. Niski goes golden to buy himself some time. But as the redemption comes through, he's still alive. And now they're gonna lose Baron for two people rather than one. A massive mistake from the new member. Remember, in the way, but um, that should change as well. Look for SK with Baron as they push in through this inner turret. Now they might have a chance to break the base in another direction. The last Baron buff was what got them close. This should do the job with Niski's damage and conversion on turrets. Absolutely massive. And Jackie's, as he comes over the wall, he can only find a relevant, which does nothing. Yeah, only going to break the Koenig as the flank comes in from Juhan. Now, does he pull the trigger? I don't think it's possible. Where hell runs into him. That Lucian doesn't care. Sustain with Bloodthirster and a fish as your support. It's easy as that, and Niski flies on in. The quickness is there. Ignar tries to buy time himself, but Niski going golden on the equalizer has to flash away. The ulti thrown out from Ismar as well as Jackie still finds a kill. The flank is there from Juan as well, buying time as Niski goes on in, re engages, but doesn't find the kill. Giant X defends successfully. Juan. This, this might be a really tough base defense. Okay, let's see how they handle it. There you go, Hexed Exalt. Chains through Juhan's damage and the poke from Rahel was too much. Now onto the Nexus turret. He steps forward with a rapid fire cannon. And for SK, it's been so hard done as Ignar tries for the miracle flank, but now onto the tank. It means nothing. At least Luan dies, though, giving Giant X another window to shine. Jackie's at half HP, threatens the advancement as Niski tries to stand his ground, with SK now looking for another way. The flank on the side. The Nami is down, so no bonus damage for Rahel. He, he has, has no appeal. equalizer. He's in the heat zone. I mean, he's in the danger zone. Juhan is looking for a target over the wall. Patrick is there as well. Relevant doesn't care. The Antonio is running into Isma. Oh, he goes it. golden, which is great. Irrelevant, though. Drags over Patrick. And Gassante almost does it. But meanwhile, Zignar jumps on in. The problem is that Niski is still alive. Rahel is still alive. And SK's chances at 3 and 0 are still pretty much alive. And it's just too much. The scaling in the front of back is just too much. They had such a nice fight with the charm dragging Nami over the equalizer, but even four versus five versus this soul is too much. And we've got to start bringing the discussion to light. The new bot lane of SK. How far can it take them? That's three and zero on the first week of the LEC. SK are playing their damn heart out. And I think I'm just going to say that.